Hey guys, welcome to the second complete retouch, section four. In this section, we're gonna be doing eyes and eyebrows and other um, small detail parts in the image. All right, let's go ahead and hit F for full screen and uh, we're gonna zoom in and basically start working out little details here in the eyes. All right, we're gonna create a new layer and group that with itself. Let's go ahead and double click on it. We'll call it eyes. And then we're gonna zoom in, you know what? Let's go in even more. All right, it's times like these when I super appreciate having a camera with like 20 something megapixels, you can zoom way in. Okay, now first thing we're gonna do, I wanna go ahead and lighten the eyes and remove some of this like detail, like, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so to do that, let's go ahead and hit J for our, there we go. We wanna use the spot healing brush tool. Now make sure you're set to content aware and make sure your mode is set to normal. And also you wanna make sure that you're on sample all layers. All right, and we've used this tool before, guys. Basically, I'm just going in and painting. There we go. I'm gonna kind of blur that line a little bit, remove some of these dark spots here. Okay. There we go. That looks good. All right, cool. Let's pop on over to the other one. When you're zoomed in this far, it's really nice to um, use the space bar to move around. Space bar is just gonna turn your um, turn your cursor into the hand. So like if I hold down space bar, see it goes to the hand, then I can click and drag and move around. It's a really nice, easy way to navigate around your image. All right, cool. That looks good. You know what, this color is a little bit weird. I'll create a new layer, hit B for the brush tool, and then I'll sample this color right here, which looks pretty good. And I'll just paint over the top of that. And then I'm gonna change my layer blend mode from normal down to, let's just try color and see how that looks. Pretty good. All right, we're gonna lower the opacity a little bit. Let's just do the same over here. Grab the color that looks pretty good and keep painting it. There we go. And then I'm gonna to wanna to zoom out and see how that looks from far away because it looked pretty good up close. I just wanna make sure that like, I'm not giving this guy some weird colored eyes that just don't look natural at all. No, looks pretty good. Okay, great. The next thing, let's go ahead and start adding some detail to the eyes. I'm gonna grab a adjustment layer. We're gonna to go to curves and then we're gonna go ahead and click and drag our highlights up quite a bit. Let's see if I can drag these up even more. Create a nice contrast there. All right, let's try over here. <laughs> I'm basically trying to get like really nicely detailed and contrasted eyes. All right. Well, we'll just go with something like that for now. We can do this in a couple of different steps. I'm gonna click on my layer mask and hit Control or Command I. That's gonna invert it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint white on my layer mask. Over top, adjust the eye. Okay, it's actually not even doing that much. Let's go ahead and reset this curves and just click in the middle and just drag up there. All right. You know what? Because it's basically just lightening that area. Look what it's going on with the color here. It looks almost like bluish, doesn't it? Okay, so we're gonna try a different step because I realize now that I need to make my eyes lighter, but I also need to color correct, okay? So we're gonna try a little something different here. This curves adjustment layer, we're gonna go ahead and fill the layer mask with white, okay? Next, I'm gonna make an adjustment layer and we're gonna go down to color balance. I'm not gonna do anything with that just yet. Okay, now instead of using a layer mask just here on the curves, I'm gonna group the two of these together. So we're gonna do the color balance and the curves. Again, one's for our light and dark, the other's for color. So Command G to group those together. And now I can put a layer mask, and if I hold Alt or Option, I can create a black layer mask, and that's going to be everything inside of there. 
which is really nice. So now I'm able to paint basically on just my layer mask for the group and that's going to affect where my eyes get lighter and also the color which is going to be really really nice. Alright and remember we want to make sure that kind of the focal point of the lightness is kind of in the opposite direction of the uh, of the light source. So if the lights on that side we want to make sure that the most light winds up going over here. Okay cool. So they're a little bit brighter. Now let's go ahead over to our color balance. Isn't this nice? Like if I just you know decided I wanted to be more red I can do that. And then like if I grabbed a hue saturation adjustment layer and I wanted to saturate you know bring in the saturation up I can do that and it's all just going to work in this exact same group and they're all layer masks the same which I think is great alright so now let's start working on color okay this curves adjustment layer do we want to go lighter or darker it's going to get to a point where it's just going to not look real at all and you don't want to let it get you don't want to let it get to that point all right there we go painting from a little bit far away to see how this looks yeah that looks pretty good there all right great so Let's go ahead into our color now and we can start working on different colors. Now red and green combined are going to go ahead and make brown. <laughs> go ahead. Sometimes I use words that just don't need to be used. You're going to want to go ahead and make brown there. Alright. Oh, cool. Let's go with something like that. So they're creating some color and some light there. Alright, so already our eyes are looking really nice. A lot better than they were anyway. Alright, we'll just kind of lower that. Lower the visibility of it just a little bit so it looks more realistic. There we go. Great. Okay, now we're going to go to a new layer. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and start working on some of these eyebrows. So on this new layer, I'm going to hit S for the clone stamp tool, sample this area, and then I'm going to start painting right over here. Make sure that you're on sampling current and below. So it's going to sample and then paint. Now if I change my layer blend mode from here, right now it's on normal, I'm going to change it to darken. And basically I've got like just hair texture that's going <laughs> to fill in any area that I want on my photo, right? Because I'm, I'm clone stamping the hair and set to darken, it's just like what it's going to do is it's going to fill it in with hair, text hair texture. So, pretty cool. So, you can really like smooth up an area of hair really, really well. All right. Because you're painting with hair. Cool. Let's see the before and the after with that. Before and the after. See how nice and like smooth that looks in the after? Alright, let's do the same. We got a new layer here. S for the clone stamp tool. And our layer blend mode is going to be darken. So I'm painting with eyebrows. <laughs> what a weird thing to say, but I am. I 
you don't believe me, just watch. Just watch. All right, so that looks pretty good. I think this one, because I just don't have a ton of detail in there, I think I'm gonna go in there and just grab a brush. We're gonna paint with black. I'm gonna bring my hardness down to about 50% there. And now we're gonna bring our size way down. And I'm just gonna, there we go. I'm gonna paint with some, some of this. Try to make some hair. All right. Cool, so now I'm using my pressure sensitive tablet and I'm just doing a little bit of brush strokes just like the ones that were already on there. All right, and if anything doesn't look real like that right there, just hit E for the eraser tool and then erase it away. All right, so I'm kind of stroking, you know, downwards here, kind of following the path of the hair that already exists there. You know, hair's pretty easy to paint, really, because it's like, it's a bunch of lines. <laughs> um, all right. Sample that color and paint that in. Cool, all right, let's go ahead and zoom out and see how that looks a little farther zoomed out. If I need to fill in any details there, I'll just... paint them in from this room. All right, cool. Looks pretty good. Looking good. Sweet eyebrows, dude. Thanks. I had them retouched. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna create a new layer and we'll just do like a couple like ones off the side to make it look real. Like this. See, a little bit of strays. I gotta say, for like basically just a brush tool. Uh, that's pretty awesome. That, that looks totally good. <laughs> I'm totally like proud of myself over here. <laughs> I am, that looks pretty good. All right, we'll create a new layer. It's easy, hair's easy. Just a black brush and then paint it. All right, let's keep painting this stuff in. That was kind of fun. I wish I could do that all the time all right keep painting it around the eye okay all right looking good let's do a little bit more lightness in the eye I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer here again we're gonna go up two curves and I'm gonna bring this up quite a bit okay I'm gonna hit controller command I on that and then here on my layer mask. All right, let's give this some red also. All right, and some green. Cool, and you can use your up and down arrows to control the point here in your curves. All right, and now we'll just give those a little bit of a blur, just enough to where it doesn't look like we did it in Photoshop. <laughs> That's always the goal is like, how do you make it look, how do you Photoshop it so it doesn't look like you Photoshopped it? That's, that's the goal. All right, looks pretty great, looks pretty great. Okay. Cool, so eyes and eyebrows. Let's go ahead and close down that group. I'm gonna hit full screen now, and we'll see there's our before and the after. Pretty good, sir. Pretty good. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this section. We'll see you in the next.